Hello students, it's Mr. Nguyen here and welcome to another tutorials video on um, parallelogram. So today we're going to be using IXL to do some uh, uh, parallelogram problems. Um, um, before we do, let's review the properties of parallelograms real quick. There are four main properties um, and these are for general parallelograms, not anything special, right? Uh, opposite sides are congruent. That means DC, AB are congruent, uh, AD and BC are congruent. Opposite angles are congruent. That means that this whole angle C is congruent to this whole angle A. Uh, this whole angle D is congruent to the whole angle B here. Okay. Uh, consecutive angles are supplementary. Consecutive are angles that are right next to each other. So angles C and B, the whole thing, will add to 180. Okay. And uh, they work their way all the way. Okay. Um, di um, diagonals bisect each other. That means uh, each of these pieces are equal to each other. So this, this piece right here, DM, is equal to BM. And this piece right here, AM, is equal to CM. Okay, so those are the main uh, four properties and we're going to be using them to uh, do some problems. So let's take a look at this. Uh, these are, um, so uh, we're given angles, so right, it's going to have to do something with angles. These are opposite angles, so we know that opposite angles are congruent, right? So we know that angle B is congruent to angle D, that's the relationship, right? We know that angle, angle a B is congruent to, or we can say that equal to angle uh, D, okay? And so that would be our, our equation. We have X plus 58 um, equals to 2X, right? And then we're going to solve this equation by uh, subtracting 1X. And so we have 58 um, equals to 1X. So the value of X would be 58 according to this equation. So let's type that in and see what we get. 58. Okay, very cool. All right, next problem we have um, the sides are given to us. So we know that according to the properties that we just saw, the opposite sides are congruent. So again, we have an equation that says 9t is congruent to or equal to t plus uh, 440. Okay, and then we're going to subtract 1t from the right hand side, we're going to get, or, or from both sides actually, we're going to get 8t equals to 40, and then we're going to divide by 8, we get t equals to 5, okay? So uh, the problem only asks us for t, so we don't have to substitute it back in to find out how long the side is, but sometimes they can ask us that, okay? So let's type in five for our answer here and submit. Very cool. All right, opposite side equal again. I'm gonna jump level because the, these problems are starting to repeat. So you'll set them equal to each other and then solve for T again, okay? Let's jump level. Let's see what we got here. Okay, description, very cool. So we have VZ, VZ is this piece right here. I'm just gonna fill in the, the, the the diagram so that I can I sort of like organize my information. So this segment is U unit long and then XZ, XZ is over here is 8 U, oops, sorry, 8 U uh, minus 91. Okay, so that's this segment down here. And we know from last, um, from looking at the properties, we, we, we knew that these pieces were equal to each other because Z is the midpoint, right? It says that the diagonal uh, bisect each other. That means this right here is the midpoint, which means from previous knowledge, we know that this piece is equal to this piece. Okay, so again, we have a, a congruence relationship. We have U equals to 8U minus, oops, 8U, 8U minus 91. And then we're gonna, um, so the, the U is uh, gonna move over here, then the negative 91 move over here. So we actually have a positive 91 equals to a 7U, right? 7U. So now we're gonna divide by seven. I think that is um, 13, if I'm not mistaken. So um, nine going to se uh, seven going to nine one time with two left 21 so three times seven is 21 so three times yeah uh, 13 times 13 equals to you okay so let's 
type that in and we got 13. Enter. Yay, fantastic. Cool. All right, uh, let me delete what I typed there. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, we got two angles that are next to each other. So from the properties that we looked at earlier, it says consecutive angles are uh, supplementary, right? That means both of these angles will add to 180. So we know that angle I, angle I plus angle J equals 180 degrees. This is the relationship. Okay, and we're going to use this relationship to set up our equation. We got 8x minus 74 plus 3x, uh, oops, 3x, I can't type, uh, plus 78 equals 180. And so now we just have our multi-step equation where we just combine like terms, move things around, and solve for x. Okay, so 8x and 3x give us 11x. Uh, negative 74 and positive 78 give us positive 4 equals 180. We're going to subtract the 4 and divide by 11. Let me use a, cal let me use a calculator. 180 f um, minus 4, right? So 180 minus 4, enter, and then divide it by 11, give us 16. So x equals to 16. Um, so we're going to type that in. That's all they, they're asking us. They're just asking us for the x value. So x equals 16. So, so far we've seen um, all four properties already, right? Opposite sides equal, opposite angles equal, consecutive angles are at 280, and then we saw the diagonal also, uh, which is the midpoint. We set them equal. So we've seen all four um, properties, right? So let's see what we got here find the value of V. Well, this time they're giving us multiple um, values for V, but we know we only need the opposite size, right? So this right here, this, this, this right here is really just um, mis miscellaneous information or maybe distractor, okay? So don't focus on that, just use the opposite size equal. So we, we know that uh, GD, GF equals to uh, ED, okay? So we're going to do 2V, uh, 2V minus 31 equals to um, V minus 2, okay? Now, sometimes the problem gives us uh, this information, and then they end up asking us, what is FE, right? And so the relationship doesn't change. We're still going to set these equal and solve for V, and then after we're done with V, we can substitute back in here to find FE, okay? I'm just letting you know that because sometimes it does ask us that, right? Just uh, stay focused and just use what's true. All right, let's solve this one. Uh, subtract V, we get 1V at 31, we get 29. So negative 2 at 129. So V equals 29. Let me type that in, see if that's right. 2, 9. Yay. Okay, I might have to skip um, problem here because uh, they are repeating, right? So I'm going to jump level. Let's see if this one's also repeating. Yep, opposite sides are equal, so I'm going to jump level. Uh, this time they do ask for RS. So th this time after you solve, you substitute back in to find what RS is, okay? I'm sure we're going to run into one of those problems later. So let's jump pro uh, level again. All right, we're in the 80s, um, so let's do this one. This one, well, yeah, it's the same, but let's work this out. Uh, here's the relationship. EF equals to HG, and so we do uh, 4A plus 18 equals 12A plus 10. And then we're going to solve for A, so we're going to subtract 4, and then subtract 10. So we get 8 equals, what's 12a minus 4a? That's 8a. So 1 is equal to a, or a equals to 1, right? So if a is equal to 1, we can substitute it back in here to find ef. So it's 4 times 1 plus 18. And that is going to give us 22. So I'm going to type in 22 here. 
for EF. Okay. Submit. Yay. All right. I might have to skip all the way to um, the 90s. Okay, because this is again uh, add two angles together to equal 180, solve the equation, and then plug it back in. Okay, so I'm sure we're gonna get one of those again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump level. 80s. Let's do. Okay, let's do. Let's work this one out. Actually, um, so what do we have here? We have a parallelogram. These two opposite sides are congruent, so we know that. So let's pl plug that in, or let's um, use that relationship. SR is congruent to TQ, and so we're going to use 3x minus 59 equals to x plus 17. And then um, subtract x, we get 2x. Add 59 to 17, we get 6, 76. And then we divide by 2, so x is equal to 3, uh, 1 left, um, 38. Okay, so x equals to, oops, I said 38 and I wrote 28. 38, um, so let's say um, if x is 38, what are we looking for? We're looking for rs, which is right here. So we do 3 times 38 and then minus 59. Okay, I'm not going to do this in my head. I'm going to just use my calculator for make it faster. Uh, 3 times 38, uh, enter, minus 59. So we have uh, 55 for rs, okay? So 55. All right, um, next one is QR. Well, QR is down here, but QR is equal to ST. So instead, I'm going to plug it in for ST, which is the same as QR. So I'm going to do 2 times 38, um, and then minus 51, OK? Because QR is the same as ST. So let's do that. 2 times 38 minus 51. So 25, so this one is equal to 25. So let's type this in. We have 55 for RS and 25 for RQ or QR, yes. Okay, great job, okay. Uh, let's jump one more level, shall we? All right, here we go. We are in the challenge zone, so let's work all of these. Let's take us all the way to 100. All right, so we have a parallelogram here. So opposite sides are equal. So we have CD equals to 7Y. Sorry, CD is equal to EB uh, or BE. Uh, I'm setting up the relationship first. Now plug it in. 10Y plus 62 equals to 7Y, 7Y, 7Y plus 65, plus 65, right? They're equal to each other, okay? Um, they don't add to 180 because they're not angles. <laughs> um, uh, subtract the 7y, we get 3y, and then subtract the 62 so that it goes away on this side. 65 minus 62 is 3. Oh, well, y equals to 1. Okay, so if y is 1, what am I looking for? BE is this one right here. So 7 times 1. 7 times 1 uh, plus 65. So 7 times 1 is 7 plus 65 is um, 72. Okay. Uh, and then the next one we're looking for is DE. Well, DE is the same as BC. So I can just substitute the 1 in here. So 13 times 1 is 13 plus 24. Uh, that should give us 37. 37. Okay, let's put our answers in. So for BE, we have 72. For DE, which is CB, essentially, is 37. Submit. Okay, terrific. Okay, we have a couple more to do, I think. Okay, opposite sides are congruent, right? H and F are congruent, so we're going to set them equal. So H equals to F, right? H equals to F. Those are angles. And so 10W plus 58 equals 5W plus 88. Okay. So now we're going to subtract 5. We get 5W 
we're going to subtract 58 so that it goes away from this side. We get 30 left. Uh, yeah, and then divide by 5, we should get 6. So if W is 6, what's angle H? We have 10 times 6, which is 60, uh, plus 58. I'm typing all over the problem. So 60 plus 58. 118, 60 plus 58. I'm just double check myself. Yeah, 118. 118. Okay, uh, now angle... I, well, angle I and angle G is the same. So, okay, so we don't have expression for them, but we could actually find them because we know the total is 360, right? So if this one is 118, this one has to be 118 as well. Okay, so to find angle I, what we do is angle I and angle G are the same. So we can subtract three, uh, uh, 118 uh, from 360. So we take 360 which is the total, minus 118 one time, minus 118 again, because there are two angles, right? And then whatever that is, we're going to divide everything by two, okay? And then that will be our answer for one of those angles, angle I or angle G, okay? So let's do this math. Let's subtract them first, 360 minus 118 minus 118, get an answer, and then divide by two. So I get uh, 124 divided by two, 124 divided by 2 equals to 62 degrees. So um, so angle H is 118 and angle I is 62 degrees. Okay? So this problem requires your prior knowledge knowing that all four angles add to 360. Okay? Submit. Very cool. Okay. God, I got one point for that problem. Jeez. All right, let's do this one. Uh, G H and G I. G H and G I. G H. What? Oh, G J. Um. So we got we got to find these two segments. Okay. Well, we know opposites are the same. So let's uh, let's do that equation. Two V plus twenty four equal V plus 27. Um, you know, if you want to pause the video and try it yourself, you could do that, right? Or if you already uh, confident that you know how to do these, you can stop the video and start working on your own practice. Okay, either way is fine. Uh, subtract the V, we got 1V. Subtract the 24, we got 3. So V equals to 3. Uh, I'm going to just plug into my calculator real quick here for J, uh, GJ. So we do 2 times 3, which is 6. Oh, I, I can actually do mental math here. 2 times 3 is 6, uh, plus 24 is 30. So this one is 30. And this one, uh, GH, uh, 20 times 3, which is 60. Okay, so we have our answers. We have G, GJ, which is the short one, is 30. We have GH, which is the long one, 60. Submit. Yay. Okay. Oh, wow. They gave me one more point. Let's hope they give me two points for this one. So I can be done. Opposite sides equal again. So let's do that. Well, they're, they're starting to repeat because they are actually uh, pretty simple now because we... What did I do here? Let's move that. Okay. No. Type down here. Okay. So 4y... Uh, plus 1 equals 7y, oops, 7y minus 17. All right, so I am going to move this 4y over here, actually, okay, because it's smaller. And then I'm going to move the negative 13 back over here. So I actually have 18, okay, because I'm adding 17 to that. And then I'm subtracting the 4 away. I get 3y left. And then I divide by 3, I get 6 equals 2y. Okay, so my y value is 6. Let me plug it in or substitute it in for EF. Okay, so 5 times 6 is 30. 30 take away 21 is 9. So this side is 9 units long. Uh, FG. FG is over here. So I'm going to substitute this in 7. Uh, so, okay, let me do this. 7 times 6 uh, minus 17. And my answer is 25 for this one. Okay, so let's type this in. I'm 
dun, 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 dun. EF is 9. I'm just being careful here. Make sure I'm not messing up. And then it's going to kick me all the way back to 80s. Um, submit. Oh my god, only one problem. This is awful. Anyway, here's a well, at least we know this is our last problem. So, okay, uh, adjacent angles or supplementary angles are, con are um, uh, supplementary. Well, I'm sorry, what did I just say? Consecutive angles are supplementary. That's what I meant. So we have z plus 3z minus 36 equal 180 okay so don't set them equal to each other because they're not only opposite angles are equal to each other if they're next to each other they actually add to 180 right so combined line term we got 4z minus 36 equals 180 and then we're going to add 36 right so we're going to have 226 226 i it's late i don't want to mess up my mental math here. I'm going to add 36, not subtract. So I'm going to add 36 uh, to 216. Okay. And then I'm going to divide by, oops, I'm going to divide by 4. I have 54. So Z equals 54. Okay. What angles am I looking for? I'm looking for H. So H is 54 because H is Z. 54 degrees and then a angle G well angle G it's opposite of angle I so angle G is pretty much the same as angle I so I could just do 3 substitute 54 in there and then minus 36 because it's the same as angle I right so let's do that on my calculator before I mess up 3 times 54 minus 36 I guess uh, uh, I get a hundred this one 26 according to my calculator 126 okay let's put this in and let's hope that we are going to make a hundred here 54 degrees and 126 degree submit yay okay guys thank you for watching um, if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials video I'll see you next time bye bye